I would like you tomorrow morning, you can do the workout, but just turn the music down and try to keep your breath a little bit lower. No boom boom hollering. All right. We got some exciting stuff uh, today. This is really um, going to be an exciting bit of announcements. And I'm, normally, you know, we'll do a, a speech or something at uh, Summit or Leadership. And uh, I try to close and try to make it so that people are like, we're out the door and get to work. But uh, I'm going to turn it upside down uh, a little bit. I'm going to talk about sort of where I am, where my mind is. But uh, try not to make it so that you feel like you need to sprint out of here, jump off a boat, and start swimming home. Success <laughs> club. Is that Diane and I am? There's 50 of them. All right, so, um, so starting out, okay, you know, sort of level setting. It's, it's hard for me why I have my notes over here, with, which has some outrageously exciting announcements. But I'm gonna, I wanna, so, but I wanna stay away from them, but it's so good. Like, it's so good. Um, but, but here's what it all, here's what it all pertains to, and here's what matters. Um, and again, I say this understanding that I, they sell drinks out there, and I hope you enjoy them. Like, they have the one, right, that looks like it's sort of, like it's long. It's got a ball at the bottom and a thing. I don't know what's in that, but it cannot be good for you. But, uh, and, I, and I want you to just do, I want you to have a good time, and every once in a while you just go, you know, this is my little window, so you're going to have your time. And, I, and I, I do want you to be able to enjoy this, but there's also, uh, you know, with 3,000 coaches at least on this ship, uh, you represent sort of the tip of the iceberg, and there's this glacier of over 400,000 other people out there who need to understand how important our work is right now. And it's very easy for us to take for granted. You know, I see your posts, I, it's cool, free vacation, I can't believe this, people doing crazy things, paying off debt, uh, very exciting success stories that are happening. But at the end of the day, with over 400,000 coaches, the obesity rate climbing, uh, lifestyle disease like diabetes, uh, heart disease, and so on, climbing, our work has just begun. And what we continue to develop uh, at Beachbody and, and as we sort of formalize and continue to test new ways of training, I need to ask you guys, as the success club leaders, to change the mentality of our 400,000 plus coaches. What? This company did a billion dollars last year and it's telling us to change our mentality? That's up. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, we have to change the mentality. Too much of what we do is negotiable. Wake up Monday morning and I'm thinking, hmm, I've got this cool thing, it's sort of a part-time job, I might do one of those vital behaviors this week. <laughs> it can't be negotiable, vital behavior, you got to invite. If you're going to be in this to help people, you got to invite every day. You have to have a challenge group. There is no way that all of your team, even if you think of, if you take the discount customers out of the equation, there is, I want to see how long I can hold it. This is both going, baby. Um, is this the treat? Um, there's no way all of your people know about the challenge tracker app. There's no way all of your people are holding challenge groups every month. There's no way, because we would see a much different behavior, both in challenge pack sales, but also in activity to the Beachbody Challenge, in activity to, um, in Success Club, in activity on Facebook and groups, and now that we have the challenge tracker app, we can see who's really engaged. We need to change this mentality to make it non-negotiable. I don't want coaches who just hang out here because it's a cool club to be in. I mean, it's neat. I love the size of the community. 
But where my head is right now, we have got to make it non-negotiable that people engage in what we're doing, they engage in the vital behaviors, even if they do it just a little bit. If people are gonna be a part of this, it's gotta be non-negotiable that they are the proof the product works. It doesn't mean they have to drink Shakeology every day. Some people have an adverse reaction, but they can wash their portions. They can use Beachbody On Demand. They can do a program three, four, five times a week with that's just 22 minutes. Like everybody can do this. It needs to be non-negotiable. Now let's not make it forever. Let's make it non-negotiable from this moment, right in here, all of us and everybody who's watching, on the other side of the deck, they probably have those big long drinks. What's he talking about? <laughs> that is a really long straw. <laughs> you know what's the worst about that? Is you're not paying any attention, you're just sucking out of that straw, and you're just watching, maybe sports on, maybe Carl's talking on stage, you're... <laughs> I didn't know there was the last sip. You didn't get the last sip enjoyment. That's the worst, it's like the last cookie enjoyment. You eating your cookies, you've done them. Oh! I gotta get more cookies, because I didn't have the last cookie enjoyment. We gotta make it non-negotiable right now. And that's, like I said, not forever. Let's make it non-negotiable that we and our teams are going to use the Challenge Tracker app. We're gonna start challenge groups between now and May 29th, going into Memorial Day weekend. Let's just make it non-negotiable. We're going into the summer, there's no downside to this, even if they just do pio or yoga or whatever, make it non-negotiable. Hi, Sherry, good to see you. That's a powerful woman right there, by the way. Incredible coach. We gotta make this non-negotiable for people. If they wanna change their lives, we wanna help them achieve their goals to lead healthy, fulfilling lives. We're, we're calling it Summer Strong. I put up a little video this morning on uh, Facebook that, um, that we're launching this thing, Summer Strong. I don't know if you remember, uh, I did a little thing on my whiteboard where I asked, what should we call this thing? I thought Summer Shape Up or Summer Slim Down would be good. You all seem to like Summer Strong. So that's what we called it. By the way, funny story. Um, Jake, uh, who helps me with social media, came into my office and he's like, so, and Jake is super cool, he's like a former model. In fact, there's a <laughs> Halloween costume. What Halloween costume is he the face for? I don't know, he's like the, he's like the Dumb and Dumber guy, isn't he? Okay, like if you go in, somebody who's shopping is like, that's Jake, he's a dumb guy. <laughs> but he's this really cool guy, anyway, comes to my office and he's like, you know, nobody likes to tell me that my ideas are really stupid. So he comes in and he's like, you know, we were thinking about maybe instead of calling, you know, people are into health, and they're into strong, and they're into, they're into the, the upside, not all, everything being about weight loss, and, you know, shape up. And so we kind of like summer strong. And I'm like, that's stupid. That's a terrible idea, Jake. And I called my assistant in, Philippa came in, and I said, Philippa, which would you want more? Summer slim down, summer shape up, or summer strong? And she's like, for oh, sure, summer slim down. She's British. <laughs> At least that day she was. <laughs> and I'm like, see, Jake, come on. He goes, well, all right, we can call it that if you want. Or maybe you can do a Facebook thing and get your, get your people involved and see if, what they pick. And it was like, hands down, summer strong. So that's what it's called. It kicks off on April 4th. You can submit your before pictures between April 1st and April 30th, and then your after photos between, I think, May, let's just say sometime in the end of May. It's all the information on the website on my Facebook page, but uh, through June 7th. Again, similar to the year-end resolution uh, promotion that we did, we uh, are giving away $30,000, $5,000 to the top male and female most inspirational stories strong, stronger every day, right? This is how we get stronger every day. We're gonna make it non-negotiable. We got a summer strong t-shirt. The first 2,000 people that send in their before and afters are going to get uh, a sampler pack of Beachbody Performance. If you're in Canada, you get Shakeology sampler pack, so you're involved. So the point is, we're gonna make this non-negotiable. Let's just make it non-negotiable. This is what we do. 
This isn't pretend. This isn't one of those other MLMs that are like, yeah, you don't really have to drink the shit. Just sell the stuff. No, we're going to be a part of this. We are health. We are fitness. We are peer support. We are rewards. We got to do this all the way in. Beachbody has some of the most exciting things happening over the course of the next four months in the history of the business. And I'll get to them in a second. But our deal has to be this is non negotiable. Success Club, if you're serious about this, has to be non negotiable. You can't make it to the end of March and not be in Success Club. You got to help your team. You got to know which people on your team are this far from Success Club. Who's having a hard time getting traction? Who doesn't understand how to open a conversation? to get to somebody's goals. Help, help people achieve their goals to be healthy, fulfilling lives. Step one is find out what somebody's goals are. What's your goal? How do you feel? You start conversations, you help get people, get people engaged in their own goals. Think about how exciting that is, about how many people are sleepwalking through life. You know, you know you're gonna get back off this ship in Fort Lauderdale or whatever, you're just gonna see people sleepwalking through life. I was in the Bahamas for a few days with the family before we all met up, and you just watch people on this island sleepwalking. I'm like, oh my God, there's so much potential if they would just go, wait, I had a goal. One time when I was a kid, I wanted to be an astronaut, or I wanted to do this or that. Where's your creativity? You are the ones, we are the ones that are gonna awaken that in them. Help people achieve their goals. Step one is help them find their goal again. It needs to be non-negotiable. Invite, invite, invite. Be the proof the product works. Do the personal development. Read a little bit every day. If you're on the ship, you're like, ooh, I didn't bring a personal development book. Why waste? You got this beautiful, this beautiful ocean around you. Download something if you can get Wi-Fi. <laughs> Download something to listen to. Just make sure 20 minutes a day while you're on this ship is going to re-engage you so you get off this boat, you're going to be like, I'm making this non-negotiable that I am in Success Club. When you get out of here, when you turn off this TV, you talk to your team. Real quick post, it is going to be non-negotiable in March that you are in Success Club. Tell your teams that. Non-negotiable that they start a challenge group non-negotiable that they use the challenge tracker app. They're like, well, I don't know anything about the challenge tracker app. Hello, find out about it. <laughs> non-negotiable. <laughs> the tools are all right there. All right, now that's yelling at you. <laughs> but look, it's, you know, it's vital behaviors. We got them. You recognize them for doing it. When you start seeing your team, Use the Challenge Tracker app. You see people, they're taking their Shakeology. Like, this is how you track what they're doing. You can track if you can track if they do their workout. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. And yeah, my people here cheating. It's not helping me. <laughs> We're going to watch what people are doing, and then you recognize them. Recognize them on Facebook. When they get involved in Summer Strong, you recognize when they submit their befores. Oh, she's eligible for the t shirt. He's eligible for the Beachbody performance. They're one of the first 2,000 to submit. You'd be last when we did um, when we did the year-end resolution. The marketing team um, was scared. I think I think I said I forget I forget what it was, but they were afraid. They were like, there are so many people in the December fix group and doing the uh, year-end resolution. They were like, we're going to give away tens of thousands of sampler packs. I said, no, we're not. I'm like, why? I'm like, because people are lazy. People think, oh, I'll never get it. I won't win. I won't, you know, they can get a free t-shirt. I think we ended up sending out maybe, maybe 3,500 3, t-shirts. 3,500 t-shirts of the 75,000 or so people that engaged in the year-end resolution. I want you people to have your t-shirts. You should all be wearing t-shirts right now. Non-negotiable that you get the t-shirt for the summer shape up. Bankrupt the company in the t-shirt department, would you please? Come on, seriously, give them stuff away. Take it from us, please. But I'm not gonna give you one of these big things with a long straw. You gotta buy that yourself. All right, so that's Summer Strong. April 4th, we kick it off. The program's involved in that. Again, there's a page you can find on my Facebook, but the programs involved in that are, um, oh, see, let me make sure I'm in my frame for your laptop. <laughs> um, 
Size, you can, uh, so the things that we're building this around, size, 22 minute hardcore, Tony, Tony's gonna be running a group, uh, I'm gonna be doing that for eight weeks. Uh, Master's Hammer and Chisel, 21 day fix, 21 day fix extreme, and I wasn't gonna announce this before today, but I'm gonna announce it now because I'm kind of excited about it. Um, you remember Brazil Buttlift, right? That's, now, Brazil Buttlift is one of the programs available on Beast Body On Demand as part of the base catalog. So you don't have to unlock data. You don't have to have bought it to be able to use it on Beast Body On Demand. But we just got done shooting four new 30-minute workouts, mostly cardio, um, that he had originally called Sweat Like a Pig. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. And then it's like, I'm like, well, that's kind of that's kind of harsh. He's like, we oh, just abbreviate it. Slap. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <Leandro. laughs> so uh, we thought better of that, and it's Brazil Butt Lift Carnival, and so we're we're adding these four workouts into the program with Brazil Butt Lift. Uh, that'll be launched. Geez, uh, they're starting to talk about it March 18th. I gave away the secret today. I think in mid-April or so that comes out, or maybe it's right around the, right, yeah, about mid-April. So you can do like 30 days of it as part of uh, Summer Strong. So that's really exciting. We're also adding new workouts to uh, size on Beachbody On Demand. So if you want to keep going with that. So there's a lot of stuff to get involved in. And, uh, you know, what we care about is that you are going to um, make it non-negotiable that you and the people around you do something. We're going into summer, it's gonna feel good, but here's the thing, it is so hard to start over. I have had a terrible 45 days. I was doing uh, the master's challenge, and then I got to have a coffee table incident with my son and the dog, and, uh, and it's just like I was going to get started, and then that didn't work, and then I traveled for a week, and I've just been a wreck. And it is from today on, actually starting yesterday, non-negotiable, that I'm working out through May 29th. Me too, non-negotiable. So let's do this together, shall we? <laughs> All right. So, uh, Brandon, give me, what is my first slide? If I've got this right, it should be that. Okay. <laughs> so that's a part of Summer Strong. And let me tell you how exciting it is for you to continue to bring people along with the challenge pack. Now, of course, uh, let me see the next slide, just so we can refresh everybody about what this is about. So you've got the, you know the PT sandbag that we offer in that? Yeah. I think we sell, is it normally 20 bucks? 20, what? 25, 35, 40, go ahead, 50. <laughs> anyway, it's a lot of money. And we don't even sell the sand with it. So you gotta get your own sand. Bring your sand to this beach. But uh, you get it free with the challenge pack and I think free shipping during the launch of this, right? Free shipping. How much challenge pack? Two dollars shipping. Oh, that's a good deal. All right. So uh, that's only during March. And that's, you know, literally only during March. 22 minutes, eight weeks. Get people involved in this. Five dollars for every sale of the base kit goes to the mission continues. And I think it's an incredible opportunity for us to both reach out to uh, military, active military, and vets, U.S. military. <laughs> now look, I can I space, can I address one thing? Because we do have an incredible group of Canadian coaches, and it's like, <laughs> why do this to Canada, the, the military thing? We looked at it, and it's like, oh my god, we're gonna go, then we're gonna go to the UK, then all their military, and then, it's like, it's just going to never end. So look, we did this as a special promotion at one point to provide uh, free signups and free back office service fees. So it is a U.S. military-based promotion. I just want to address that, that we didn't think about it. It's just like, you know, we're going to go country against just going to get too much because we can't track everybody's active military status. There's uh, secrecy or confidentiality involved. We just didn't want to get involved in it. There's only so much you can do. But it is an opportunity for active servicemen and or their spouses to get involved without back office service fees, back, back, back office business. service fee, business service fees, and there was a B word in there. <laughs> and um, and uh, 
then the effects can do it. I was wrong. I did a post that said the wives of vets after they retire can do it, but that actually is not the case. But the point is, this is something that is doing a lot of good because the, the whole idea for 22 Minute Hardcore happened one morning when um, when I was going down to my basement and it's like it's like a cave down there. It's 5 a.m. and I'm like, uh, I think I was going to do insanity. Uh, it was 60 minutes and I was like, uh. Uh, it's so dark and cold down here. I don't want to do it. Why don't I keep cookies in this basement? <laughs> and I went down and I started thinking, I was like, if somebody would just yell at me right now, I would do the workout. And they said, look, this is only going to be 20 minutes. If you would just yell at me. And that made me think of Tony Horton. <laughs> I said, he's, you know, he travels around to all these bases. Uh, he's very familiar with the military. He's wanted to do a military theme program. I'm like, if I just had a drill sergeant, so instead of like P90X and uh, Tony's other programs where he does the workouts, this time he just walks around and just gets you to do it. He just pushes you so that 20 minutes is the most intense possible. And that's what 22 Minute Hardcore is. I'm looking forward to starting it on April 4th or before. But it's a great way for, I mean, these guys are used to morning PT. We've got military guys around the office who love it. And if you finish the program, you get the cool challenge coin. How about that? That's cool, right? So you get people involved, you put them in the challenge tracker app, and you get them started with this thing. And it helps guys who are military and women, they, they feel like, I'm used to that. That is my fitness. It's basic, it's nothing fancy, it's nothing too complicated. And $5 for every unit that we sell goes to the mission continues to help transition vets out of active duty. Woo! So far, so far we have sold, uh, we, we have generated $287,000 for the mission continues, which means Woo! we've got 28 vets transition into civilian duty. Okay. Um, oh, thanks, Brandon. You're in the, okay, give me the next slide. Okay, here's some news. Okay, uh, you, who, I got my t-shirt on, Beachbody Performance, you love it, right? Okay, this is the real deal, this is the good stuff. And uh, we'll get into more of that later with, um, uh, when we bring some of the trainers, I wanna talk about their experience with it and talk about what it means to, to help people and set them up for success using Beachbody Performance or why it's important. But You've asked for it, you want it, so coming this spring, at some point, we're giving it to you. Brandon, give me that slide. Finally, you're getting your orange flavor back. Woo! So, that was a little tepid. <laughs> you know, people like, their, people like their results in recovery, but when we evolve past something, we don't just serve the flavor palette. We want the results to be there. If we know we can do better than P90X results in recovery, we're moving it to the next level. That's what beach body performance recover means. So now it's not going to only be in chocolate. It will be in orange. It launches in the U.S. on the 11th of uh, May. Canada, we have started the process of getting that approved in Canada. It takes a while to get the... Uh, various departments to approve it. So we're working on, you know, obviously Cafe Latte working on that, no updates on that, but everything is in process. We got a strong team working on that. So that hopefully in 2017. Uh, and, and that flavor will be in the Beachbody sampler kit um, as of the launch date. Okay, what do I got next, Brandon? Oh, this is an exciting one. This one is super exciting. So, the future of this business, I was, you know, I do some of my best thinking uh, in the shower and after the shower. I don't know, something about heated up my head or something. But I was thinking about it, and, and I was thinking about networks, right? Cable networks, like their goals. Uh, a a decent-sized cable network is about between 60 and 75 million TV households. And um, there is a little bit over 100 million TV households in the U.S., I'm like, we should be in 100 million households. Um, but my first goal is 10 million households. We, when we launched the network, John and I were talking about, hey, what do we do with the business now? We're on TV, we're you know, generating over, at that time, $50 million a year in TV exposure. Last year we had $165 million of TV exposure. 
Now, what happens with all that demand that gets created with people who haven't bought on TV? One of the things that you can do, one of the things that, that we had the option to do back in 2005 was to then move the product through Walmart, Target, and, and the big box stores. Um, and that basically is, let's, let's cater to five or six big accounts, blow out big numbers, new product, blow out big numbers, and that's a sort of a cycle that the infomercial business and direct marketing will do. We, we didn't feel that was a good application for what we do because we thought having you there to make it non-negotiable that people would get into challenge groups and use the program, not just buy the program, because we've had really good success selling it, right? But getting them to use it, that's hard. So we decided to start this network. And because the thinking was, rather than trying to compete with the gyms and the big box stores with uh, by having the biggest uh, concentration of activity, you know, a gym, the biggest gym, we'll start a Beachbody gym in this city, a Beachbody gym in that city. We're going to start gyms, millions of gyms in the most convenient location possible right downstairs. So if it's in your basement, if it's in your living room, if it's in the garage, whatever's going to work, we're going to get our titles out there in as many houses as possible. And that's what Beachbody On Demand represents. But we are constantly evolving, evolving in ways that the competition, even the Netflix of the world, aren't doing. So let's take a look at uh, what we have coming on Beachbody On Demand. This is what we call the iOS app. And we're expecting to hear from Apple any day that you will be able to, check this out, you're gonna be able to you know, trigger an app uh, Beachbody On Demand, touch your phone, and you'll get this, you know, you'll be able to start the 30-day trial, give me the next slide, Brandon, browse that way, you'll still have the normal um, uh, screen layout to choose the programs, including your purchase programs, next slide, you will have the member library, still have access to that, and of course, anybody who's used to this, you can either do it on your phone or your iPad, or you can airplay it right to your TV if you have Apple TV, next slide. You get the program details, but let me show you something really exciting. See that? Get ready. Hello. Nobody has this. Next slide. When they launch this, you're gonna, oh, there's one other thing I'm supposed to say. So uh, <laughs> you wanna control, one thing that we did is, I, I hated these little, what are you doing, go back. <laughs> so it's so hard, like if, if this is how big your phone was, It'd be easy to fast forward or go back. Be like, I couldn't figure out that Pilates move with that band on him. I, I almost strangled myself with that band on him. <laughs> but you're all sweaty and you can't go back and the band is smashing your face. So there's, we actually call it sweaty pause, where you can actually touch the screen on the right side to fast forward on the left side to rewind a little bit, and it's gonna be super easy to navigate. Woo! But here's the big news, next slide. I think this is the big news. You are now gonna be able to download seven workouts at a time to your phone so you don't have to have Wi-Fi access to do it. Ain't nobody else got that. Daily burn, don't got that. <laughs> so uh, you can decide which, uh, you know, depending on how much room you have on your phone, you can decide small, medium, or large if you want to uh, have the full um, high definition. And then, of course, it'll show you on this screen how many you've downloaded, how many you have remaining. And then, you know, so when you're, you're done one, you just load the next one, you move on. You can, like, constantly be doing this. So you'd be on this cruise right now. You'd have all seven or whatever number of programs that you could do right now and you have it with you you would rely on the wi-fi here to be able to stream this is a huge breakthrough we submitted we submitted the specifications to apple and, you know obviously um we told them to rush it but they weren't, weren't listening to us um, so we expect to hear any day that this is going to go live, and then you'll be able to download that from the uh, iTunes App Store. Okay, next slide. How do you sign in? Oh, see, I knew you were going to ask me that. 
Here's the thing about Android, because I asked the guys yesterday, they're going to ask me about Android, what do I tell them? Um, here's the thing. We do it on Apple first, Apple TV, iPad, iPhone. We do it on that first because it's a consistent platform across this one, uh, this, this one group of equipment, okay? Android is multiple, there's multiple uh, uh, manufacturers and different sizes and different specifications for each one. So we basically figure out what's important to you, what's important to the user on this consistent, contiguous platform, and then we start development for Android. So it's on our radar, it's important to us, we're not just shills for Apple, but this is the most efficient way for us to develop this technology. Remember. We're kind of a little company when it comes to this kind of big tech stuff. So we got to figure it out in pieces and understand what's important. And then we'll go to the next level. I don't have any dates for you because we we're just launching this, but it is something that we eventually want to do. Okay? Is that suffice? Is that sufficient? I said it, Android. Okay. So, uh, you know, what we've done recently, we've done the Apple TV app. I love it. Digital unlocks, as you know, uh, from time to time. Right, right now we have uh, T25, Body Beast. Uh, size, size, size. Sizes? Oh yeah, and size. Those three. I think you can buy them for uh, with some discount, and you can just unlock it. And and now you put, and now that you can download it. Now it's kind of a, a useful thing. Okay, so that's what we have done uh, recently. And the iOS app is coming. Here are some things. Oh God, you guys this is so exciting. Now, how are we going to know? what the next international market is that we should develop to. Like, where do we know? Because it's English-speaking content. So similar to how we started the business with infomercials, we had a good sense that we could make a market in infomercials here in the U.S. and Canada. Uh, we had a built-in marketplace. We will begin testing what I call making it rain, um, beach body on demand uh, in 140 countries and based on that demand is how we're going to start to see now look there's two sides of the business I want to be super clear there's the team beach body side where we have the compensation genealogy and then there's the beach body side where we do the infomercials and stuff this represents the beach body side I can't do this over here in the team beach body side but this is how we're going to understand where international development goes, okay? So this is kind of our petri dish of international. We're not doing any language change. We're just basically putting it out there so that, because one of the things that we found was in, uh, I think it was uh, Indonesia. So I, I have the tweet deck on my computer, right? And I'm seeing like, overnight, Indonesia is like a T25 country. It's like crazy. Like I don't even understand the language and the symbols, but it's like T25, Sean T, da, 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 da. And they were just pirating it. So now they're going to have a way to buy it. We'll see, is there an opportunity there, right? So, and they'll be able to do it in their own currency. Uh, we also have site redesign coming. You'll see better navigation, integration with a new um, uh, uh, diet service or, or, or food plan that involves the uh, container system. Uh, personal, you'll be able to track your own personal data. Um, gamification, meaning you'll, you'll start to see uh, rewards and other recognition for when you do a workout, you do number of workouts in a row as you keep track, as you try to uh, achieve your goals with weight loss and nutrition. All that, we want the system to be able to help you recognize the people who you bring into Beachbody on demand. And one of the things I'm the most excited about, like probably, and there's three things I'm super duper excited about today. This is one of the biggest. That in, uh, I would say it's probably going to take us three months to get it going, but we made a decision last week. Remember the fixing cookbook? Yeah. Okay. So we were starting to work on another cookbook. We're like, oh, that'll be good, another cookbook. We started to do the work, started to look at the numbers from the last cookbook, sold a bunch of them, and, and then were, we were going back and forth on this one recipe, and it was really, um, it was really complicated, and it was the kind of thing I was like, kind of similar to the aha moment about starting Beachbody that was, you know, people, they can buy a magazine, they can see people doing, you know, everybody like, the girl. <laughs> Every magazine, her butt, this is the move. <laughs> so you gotta, you gotta figure what, what that is from a magazine. Not so good on a printed page. Well, if you're trying to understand how to do some sort of calamari fancy recipe, 
and how to get flour to stick to it or whatever. You want to see somebody actually cook it. So rather than articulate that into another book, we're going to start with Autumn uh, Calories and her brother, who's a chef, and we're going to start to do portion fix cooking demos on Beach Body on the Map. Woo! Are you kidding me? This is huge. Woo! This is huge. Now, here's why. First off, it provides a, a rationale or a value for Beach Body on Demand that transcends doing the workout every day. Um, we're also going to make it, by the way, I had to talk to the tech team, but we want to make it so that this could be one of the seven things that you download. So you can, it, you can take it to the kitchen and you can watch it right there, okay? We're going over to grandmother's house and you can bring the recipe for the calamari thing with you. And it's going to give you something like every week or every other week, something to promote to your teams and your prospects to get them into Beachbody On Demand. I'm telling you right now, the revenue opportunity in addition to Shakeology and Beachbody performance is Beachbody On Demand. As you get people into that membership, and as we keep providing uh, new layers of value in there, like the cooking segments, that is going to be a huge part of how you create independence, financial independence and wealth for yourself if you focus on this. So every week, rather than a new product to launch, because you can't put out new fitness programs every week, be like, oh my God, stop with the fitness programs. We get it. Like there's, you know, it's going to be like, yeah. But now, like we're going to have hundreds, eventually, hopefully, thousands of cooking segments. So anything you want to know how to use these portion containers to make it, it's going to be demonstrated on Beachbody On Demand. This is a big opportunity, and it'll happen in the next two or three months. That's exciting. Woo! Okay, next slide, Brandon. And uh, okay, now our approach to product development is a very interesting one. Part of our job, we kind of have these two sides of product development. And uh, one of them is to make sure that when you guys come here or when you, because especially the people who do like, you've gone through T25, you've gone through a few 21 Day Fix and 21 Day Fix Extreme, you're looking for the next challenging challenge, right? And then, uh, you know, but, but there's these other niches that we can cater to and there's more stuff that we need to learn from and more people, more faces that you'd like to find to present that information. You, some of you might have already heard about this, but I'll give you just a teeny tiny, not even satisfying peek into a project that we're launching. It'll, actually, you'll be able to see the first hint of it uh, really around Summit. But I want to give you a look at how we're about to pick out. Um, you know that we've had you know incredible trainers in the 17 years that we've been uh, a company. I think we've had close to 17 different what we call super trainers. Kathy Smith, of course, Tony, and Debbie Sievers were our initial ones. We had the Yoga Booty Ballet Girls, and it has expanded uh, to include the trainers that you're working out with here on the ship. But you might be wondering, how are we going to pick the next one? And we've had a lot of demand for people to get disability into that process, so now we're gonna show you starting this summer. Brandon, would you tee up that clip for me and give everybody a look on how we're gonna pick the next super trainer? Beachbody is a billion dollar fitness company responsible for creating the most recognizable super trainers in the world. <laughs> Developing game-changing body transformation programs with hand-picked super trainers has always been a very tenuous task. In fact, in Beachbody's entire history, there have only been a handful to make it into the winner's circle and become world famous. Having precisely the right combinations of skills that push them to the top to revolutionize the direction of health and fitness. And now, it's time to find the next one. So for the first time ever, Beachbody is opening the door to a handful of trainers, all in their 20s, and invited them to move into the Beachbody Hot House. special something to become Beachbody's next super trainer and with a guaranteed contract with the opportunity to change people's lives and make millions of dollars. It won't be easy. In fact, it will be the challenge of a lifetime because in the end, there will only be one. Welcome to the 20s, the search for the next Beachbody super trainer. <laughs> 
Okay, it's kind of a dream of mine to make a reality show. <laughs> so uh, literally, um, we start with 20, uh, 20 somethings, then we cut that down to 11, and they start to do challenges as we look for literally who is a person who's gonna have the heart, the compassion, um, the creativity to work with our product development team to come up with a program that is going to bring us to another level, is going to attract, it. what? The 40 something? Well, that's the, that's the next episode. <laughs> One thing at a time, ladies. Jeez. <laughs> then the 30s are gonna complain, the 50s. Um, no, it's just that, well, the, the point though is out of this exercise, we're gonna end up with um, like between 10 and 20, 20 minute workouts that will go up on Beachbody On Demand. And that's how you will help us decide who the next trainer is gonna be. Because you'll have insight into uh, what the workouts are, you'll be able to vote on it, we'll see who's using the, uh, which workout gets the most play. Um, and so we'll have these 20 minute workouts that'll be a new category inside Beachbody On Demand, but it'll also be fun. The way it's gonna work is, We'll uh, air the episodes. I think we're going to premiere the first episode, actually, maybe at Summit, if we can get it done in time. Um, so the first episode will be at, maybe at Summit, but then every week thereafter till right around leadership, when we will announce who the winner is, and uh, based on the, the selection criteria. And uh, we have some really cool talent that we're already starting to see. I think it's going to be a fun project and give you something fun to watch on Beachbody On Demand. Uh, two week, or a week or two after it airs on Beachbody On Demand, it will also air on the Pop Network. That's a, used to be called the TV Guide Network, but it's called Pop TV now. So uh, that'll air, I think it's going to either air before or right after, like, uh, anyway, I don't know what time it's going to air, but it's going to be in like the sort of late prime time, and uh, that'll help us you know, get the story out about Beachbody. So it's going to be an interesting little project, and it'll help us start with some new product development. But... While that might help us create new programming that has <clears throat> the type of intensity and the type of challenge that, that many of you who are P90X and Sanity and T25 people, you're like, you know, give me something that I can really sink my teeth into as a program. There's also a part of the business which is about reaching new people. And it's always been a challenge for us to, to find something that is um, accessible. For more people like it's always a challenge that we're looking at and literally this has been uh, a decade of thinking about and contemplating what can we do to reach more people and as, as it has become non-negotiable for us to start our own challenge groups it can't just be about the most challenging challenge groups it's got to be there has to be an aspect to what we do that says I want to be able to introduce a concept to a friend or a neighbor who I know could never identify with insanity. They could never identify even with uh, P90 or T25. They need something, you know, like even size. When we, when we created size, we wanted that to be um, almost like the insanity of pants, right? We wanted it to be like so intense and, and mentally challenging and you're trying to learn this that you forget that you're exercising. But the dance moves, taken from a guy who spent a month learning one, are kind of challenging. So we're constantly looking at, like, what, what can we do that's going to help us access the other 100 million people? Or uh, I think it's, what is it, the obesity rate? I think it's 80 million people are obese in the country, close to 100 million people. Obese, um, 30 million, maybe morbidly obese. What do we have for that? It's our job to reach everybody. And I'm proud to announce that I think we've got one that's gonna help us do that. So, I'll be interested in your reaction. Brandon, would you show them what the very next release will be coming this summer? Sometimes, I get the spark of a new workout idea, and it takes a decade to come together. Like this is starting when us all folks are drawn to a simpler type of fitness, like indoor walking. 
simple, easy. We can reach a whole new group of people. Some there. And people want fun. That's the holy grail of fitness. Nobody's disputing that the salsa workouts caught on like a spark in the tall grass because it's fun and easy. And you're still burning up calories. For years, I'm watching these trends, and out of the corner of my eye, city folk are finally figuring that the best music to get your feet moving is country music. Woo! A couple of years back, my daughter Ava and I discovered a simple line dance called the Cupid Shuffle. It was fun and easy, and it spread through the company like a brush fire. And I realized how the simple repetition could get you sweating without having to bring it or dig deep. Right? It's like walking. What's that way? No, what's <laughs> moving up? I had a ridiculous herd of themes looking for the right person to pull them all together. Then I saw a video of an event in Calgary where coaches invited the trainer Autumn Calabrese on stage. Turns out she's a big fan of country music and a dancer. Oh, I'll be. <laughs> and that's when all the end twinkling ideas came together. Ten years attending the flame of a new concept so folks could have fun and burn a whole mess of calories. Why, we could even include the simplest way to manage portions so you can enjoy your favorite meals. It's not the end of the story. This is just the spark of what's becoming a wildfire. With Autumn and her team in charge, a pretty cool idea called Fit Country just got hotter. This is fun, easy fitness. Saddle up, partners, for country hate. Yeah! Country Heat is a country music dance program for everybody. If you like music and you like to move your body, you will love Country Heat. It doesn't matter if you can dance. It's not about tricky moves or having to get the steps just right. All you need to do is follow along with us and have fun. This is Country Heat. music and to move. A lot of the songs are popular mainstream country songs that you've heard before, so you can sing along while you're dancing. I wanted the top hits, I wanted the best country artists, I wanted the music that people were going to love, and it's so fun that you're going to want to get up and do it. I love the dance moves. I love shaking my hips, I love the body rolls. You don't even need to know how to dance, which is awesome. Moves are simple, easy, they're fun. Next thing you know, you're covered in sweat, you burn the calories for the day. And speaking of burning calories, Country Heat comes with my portion control container system to make it simple to lose the weight while still eating the food you love. And if you think the containers are simple, so are the dance moves. Yeah, right, left, left. If you love great music, dancing, and having fun, turn it up to burn it off with country heat. <laughs> Congratulations. I know that uh, this has been a long time coming. We, I think we did it, by the way. I think we actually kept a secret. We did. Like pretty we much. Did, yeah. Pretty much. We kind of kept a secret. Amazing. All right. Now you can tell everybody. So, uh, when, when we, I, I want to tell you a little bit of the backstory of this program because um, Autumn has so much to be proud of because, as, as you saw in the little premiere of the idea, 
this, like it was a line dance, and then it wasn't a line dance, and then it got hard, and then it got easy. Like we went through almost six months, uh, and, and it was actually nine, nine months of <laughs> turmoil. Um, but it started to come together uh, in Nashville, actually. We got some real good insight. You guys went to a country line dance there. I mean, how much fun is this going to be to release in Nashville? Woo! All right. Tell us a little bit about the course. Describe what you put together. Okay, well, really quick. I have, let me can back up to the story for a second about how long it took us and everything. Yes. You guys have probably seen posts on social media of me being like, oh, my God, I'm working on something. It's killing me. Um, this is what should have been really easy. Dance for me should be really easy. This is what I grew up doing. It's what I went to college doing. I majored in dance. And um, when I got to college, it was the first time I ever had a teacher tell me I can't. And in three years, that ballet master crushed my confidence so bad that I left school a year early and I didn't step foot in dance class for five years. Took a while, slowly built my confidence back, but never quite the same as I had it before I went to school. So here we are a year ago, and Carl's like, I've got this great idea. It's a dance program. It's country. And at first, I'm like, yes. And in a split second after thinking, yes, every bit of fear and anxiety that you could ever imagine took over my body. And I was like, oh, my God, how am I going to do this? I can't. And that's the only word that kept going through my head is I can't do this. I don't know how many times in nine months I went to Carl and was like, it's cool if you want to take it from me. Maybe it's not mine. Like, maybe you give it to somebody else. And every time he had the same response, he's like, if you need more time, you can have more time, but Country Heat is yours. So thank you for that, because that is so important, you guys. That, having that one person believe in you if you don't believe in yourself, it changes everything. Because when every time he was like, it's yours, go figure it out, I went back and I was like, all right, guys, we got to try this again. Like, it's not where he wants it, but we're going to try it again. And that is what I want country heat to be when you guys take it out to everybody else. So for the people who, who are intimidated by insanity or 21 day picks or power 90, who don't believe in themselves and say, I can't, I want you guys to be able to be like, you can, because it's like walking, but sideways. <laughs> it really is that easy. And it really is that much fun. The workouts are like 26 to 30 minutes. The music is amazing. Um, the steps are really easy, and even if you don't get them on the very first try, there's move breakdowns before you ever do the workout so that you can learn the moves without the music so that you know what it is before you get into the routine. So um, I'm excited about it. It's fun, and, and I think it's awesome that we have something that is going to reach so many more. And that's, and that's the point. So we looked at, I mean, the, the backstory is true. So one of the reasons Zumba is such a big deal is there's, it, it, it's something that people feel is super accessible for them. But we wanted to do it in, with the, frankly, what right now is the number one um, music format in the country. Information as it comes, but but uh, we also have a test group going on in Dallas uh, of people, so that we have a, a broader group of people, and we'll start to give you more information. But I do want to say that uh, as you share this with your teams, the point of all this is that now we're going to be able to, like, sometimes I'll talk to people and, you know, They'll, they'll say, oh, Beachbody, I know that extreme fitness company, which always shocks me because we started with great abs guaranteed and good thighs guaranteed, which was seven minutes long. Um, <laughs> so, like, I never positioned in my mind as that extreme fitness company, but P90X is how we really got on the radar. So now we're going to have something that everybody can do, and with the portion control, with the containers in the system, I think it's going to be something that will really access a lot of people and, and give people a, a new uh, a gateway into a lifestyle of movement and activity that will finally be gratifying for them. So good job, Arnold. Thank you. Thank you. Woo! What? Thank you. 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 Thank Bring out the rest of the trainers who are backstage hiding. Thank you, gang. Welcome. Why didn't you? Why didn't I see anybody do penguin tail? What's up with that? 
the pot on yet. You haven't. You haven't done it around the office enough yet. <laughs> All right. Once I'm going to start doing the penguin tail around the office, and then you're. Okay, so uh, here are our ambassador super trainers, you guys. Um, thank you for waking me up at whatever, 5.30 this morning or some crazy. Let's <laughs> <laughs> do that really loud. Look, uh, you know, you guys, obviously we had a, we had a great dinner last night. Um, have you had enough salt for the week? Yeah. Honestly, I can barely get my shoes in So much salt. Uh, but uh, we had a computer, and I was telling them last night just how grateful I am. You know, obviously, Tony, was, Tony and Debbie were the first two trainers that we worked with on, uh, uh, on the beach, and we didn't have permits, and we sort of snuck. We were snuck out on the beach, shot these workouts, it was foggy, it was freezing, but we got it done. We shot like five workouts in a matter of two hours and then escaped before we got arrested. Uh, legit start of a billion dollar company. But, but uh, we, were lucky, we were lucky to work with friends. You know, um, Tony was a friend and uh, Debbie was a friend and we just, things came together and then, you know, Power 90 was an idea. I was like, yeah, oh, that seems kind of, Tony, that's like kind of in your wheelhouse. Like, it was kind of what we did when we were working out together. And uh, Debbie, then, then, you know, Slim and Six was an idea. I was like, yeah, Debbie, that could be good. And we sort of had this, like I said last night, this sort of divinity, this kind of divine little, these relationships that have started where the right person entered our world at the right time for a concept. I mean, um, Sugi, I, I have had that, that whiteboard. Well, it's a joke. At some point, you'll see the video and just look at some of the things on whiteboard. Kind of funny. But I do have this whiteboard where I we keep all the ideas, all the working ideas. And there had been something that was sort of Charles Atlas esque, and uh, and then Heather Church found Sagi for us, and it just was like so perfect from like day one, perfect. And uh, we had. Truly, <laughs> and then we uh, literally, as I said, we've been thinking about how to make things accessible and stuff. And had been looking at a, a shorter program, maybe 30 days, maybe 21 days, maybe with a portion control program. And then we found Autumn, who had her own portion control system online. So like this, this divinity happened, right? And then, of course, we'd worked with, uh, through the last Bills relationship, we'd worked with Joel and Jericho, and they did a great job in Les Mills Pump and Combat. <laughs> Uh, and I think it was Jericho, you said it last night, it's kind of like this family uh, of relationships. And of course, Sean and Shalene have done just amazing work for us, and they continue to do great stuff. And like, we're so lucky. But then I look at you guys, all with trainer backgrounds, and what we can all learn from you is how do you set up people, not, not just when you go about how you approach creating a program. Um, and and let's, I'm going to start with Joel and we'll work our way up, okay? Um, how do you, how, how can we learn from you? And particularly because you have run Gold's Gyms and you're a real businessman around uh, the art of, of fitness and acquiring new customers and so on. It's one thing to acquire customers. It's a whole other thing to set them up for success. And that's what I want this panel to be about. How can we help our customers and coaches succeed at the programs that they start. How do you do that as a professional? Yeah, the, uh, hi guys. Uh, so that was, uh, we did discuss a little bit last night and uh, coming from the, the gym world, the fitness world, it's always about selling memberships and, and that's a traditional thing of selling as many memberships as possible. Uh, and then the challenge has always been to, how do you retain the members? How do you keep people going? And uh, a lot of people have asked me about my transition to Beachbody and one of the things that I've said and I've posted about it is that, that uh, the gym world is so small, less than 20% of the population belong to a gym. Uh, you know, that leaves the rest, the 80% of the population out, but it doesn't mean that we don't still have the same retention problems that the gym world does. So it's the same thing of trying to sign somebody up and I see posts about all the time, okay, I, I'm trying to sign people up as a coach and people are quitting and they're not working out or something like that. So the retention problems are still there, right? You guys are still having that. Um, 
And so for me, it's always been realism, is, is really trying to find something in that person's real life that they can connect to that make them want to work out, make them want to be healthier, want to be fitter, want to change their life uh, for the better. Um, and so when people ask me, uh, you know, how do I want to be seen? How do I portray myself in this world? It's, it's realism. I mean, you know, we didn't necessarily have the salad last night. Uh, we did, but I think there was some like a salt cake on top of it. And, and it was, it was delicious. And then, yeah, and then five more salt cakes later, and then there was dessert. So, and then we jumped up, but you know what? But then we jumped up on stage and we saw all you guys down there working your asses off, right? You guys were working out the next morning. So that's, that's real. That's real life. And that's, for me, is really about trying to find the realism in what we're doing. Not saying, hey, stop eating that. Don't do this. We all know we, what we should and shouldn't eat, right? We know this salt cake is probably bad for you, but it tastes good, so we're gonna eat those onions. So it's finding the finding that marginal area of realism. That's what I say. Thank you, Derek. I mean, you've been back training for so long. You see people come and go, um, and I'm sure you taught classes and seen people just stagnant. They come to the workout, they do their thing, and they don't progress. How do you help set them up for success so that they do move along? Uh, I think the hardest part is just getting yourself there. And people just need a little bit of a push. You know, uh, so many people need help. And I think a lot of people feel alone. So I love, one of my biggest things is just connecting with people. So, you know, walking up to them, talking to them. For you guys, it's reaching out to them through social media and how you do and just, um, hook them. You have to hook them in emotionally and hang on to them. And um, yeah, it's just building a relationship. As you know, so many people need your help and they're intimidated. They're afraid. They're afraid of failing. And um, it really doesn't take a whole lot in my experience to just really make them feel welcome and make them feel important and special. You hear how valuable that is. I mean, Joel, the, the, you wouldn't really expect if you were to sort of write the script, what are they going to say about how to empower people for success or, or help set people up for success? You wouldn't expect the first thing you hear is be realistic with them so that they can still um, uh, coexist with a, a lifestyle that does have some gratification. You wouldn't expect that to be the first thing you hear. And then you wouldn't expect to hear that uh, connecting with people, connecting with their heart, connecting with their goals would be the next one. You would sort of think, I'm going to inspire them. I'm going to lead them. But you've got a very human experience from people who are the best at it in the business. And I think that's really important to make note of. Okay. <laughs> so it's really important to make note of, though, because this is such an important part of what you do. Now, Siki, when, when we, we had a meeting in my office, um, and we were talking about nutrition, and we were talking about how big a following that you have in both the bodybuilding world and um, uh, on bodybuilding.com and through our, um, through our database. And you were talking about supplementation and making the right kind of recommendations so that people would, be su would, would have an appropriate supplement but not lean on it like a crutch. Can you, can you get back to that? Because like, you were talking about when you, because you had a whole practice where you would help people with their nutrition and guiding them through supplementation. How are you doing, guys? Yeah. So I'm sharing with you guys what Carl and I were talking actually for a long time. And, um, he was asking me questions about my practice and what I do with patients that walk through the door or other people that always have to ask me nutritional questions as a clinical nutritionist, not just as a bodybuilder that flexes biceps. Exactly. <laughs> so, so the first thing that I want you to understand is the way you think, the way you talk, that's the first thing that's going to influence your body. The number one medicine that you have to come out from the depression is exercise. There's no other medication that will fix it. It's true. Exercise will fix it. The other thing is that we are not trying to fix or save anyone. We are just sharing our knowledge, we are sharing our experiences, and as my experience, when we have someone coming to the practice, 
the first thing that I would do, I would see how they walk, I would see how they talk, I would see how their shoulders are moving, and I would see how they actually telling the story. And what they will expect is just to me, yeah, 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 right. And let me tell you what I'm doing. Now, as coaches, also, in learning that to become a great coach, you really need to start listening to the other person. Because only by listening and understanding what struggle the other person has, that's what you understand how that person is going to become where he wants to, to go. It's not, it's not your life, it's their lives. So what I will start with the way they think, and I would say, okay, tell me three times, I'm healthy, I'm healthy, I'm healthy, instead of telling me life sucks, I feel like crap, and I don't, yes, I don't poop also. <laughs> so by the way, here you go, she balance it and boost. <laughs> yeah. But no, so, so that's, yeah. I, I never had in the practice any any supplements in the office because I didn't want to look like a car salesman. And that's the thing, we are not trying to shove, or oh, I didn't try to shove anything or any, any anything or any any product to anyone in their face because I didn't want anyone to feel the this tension or the pressure that, oh, he's trying to sell me something. No, all I wanted to do is I'm a problem solver. So how I'm gonna solve your problem is first I have to listen to you. And explain to you how the body works because the body is is really perfect the body knows exactly what to do and as long as we are directing the body and we are in thoughts positive thoughts the body will go where we should so we start with the way we think and then we start with the way we eat and you are what you eat right but you are what you digest you are what you assimilate and you are what you eliminate so that's what basically what we have. That's why we have hydrate, we have the greens, we have everything that shake allergy doesn't sit with some people. So okay, so they're sensitive for there. Okay, we have vegan. Then some have uh, gut issues, okay? So we have the greens and we have the boots. So we, we got to a solution that anyone that have any types of issues, again, doesn't have to go anywhere else and especially I don't want to mention any stores say hey what would I get here what would I get there and get all confused with the store with three hundred dollars and it will sit on the shelf and wonder what to do with it so the system is really easy what I was saying to Carl is that there's so much stuff out there and really so much crap out there that you just don't know what you're getting and that's one thing that I want you to think and pay attention to what I'm saying the number one thing that your body will be affected is by toxins and by artificial colors and artificial sweeteners. If you just take those three out, you're gonna start seeing the difference between, let's say, each body performance line next to other products. And you can eat as great as you want. And I was saying that our soil, our dirt, soil, yes, it's not the same as it was 50 years ago, 100 years ago, 1,000 years ago. So we have so much uh, GMO foods, we have so much toxins that food become very expensive or even the nutrients in the foods doesn't have what we actually need for our body to heal and recover. I'm not even talking about exercise, I'm talking about in general because if our sleep disturbed, and that's why we have the recharge, if I sleep disturbed, then you wake up during the night you know what I'm talking about? Either you cannot fall asleep or you cannot stay asleep or you go to a bathroom three, four times and then you wake up grouchy and your whole day is messed up and it's become like a chain reaction. And that's how you become more toxic and more toxic, more toxic. And then you decide that you're going to go and again, maybe go work out, but you're too tired to work out. So you become wired and tired. And once you get to the point that you're wired and tired, then, oh, excuses come in. And then you hear someone say, no excuses. I'm like, but I'm really tired. Well, I don't want to hear it. This is not negotiable.
now, you guys. You're non negotiable. You have to drop wherever you are and do a push up. When it comes out Carl's mouth, you have to drop and do a push up. I'm going to get, uh, I'm going to go up to the captain's bridge. <laughs> non negotiable. <laughs> Summit 25,000 people. Sure. All right. Okay. So my point is, <laughs> never tell a story without a point, and never tell a point without a story. Right. So my point is, is that first you have to listen to your body. Second, you have to understand that supplements. There's a reason why we call it supplements because they're supplementing what the body is missing, and each body is different. Not one size fits all. So that's why we have uh, different, different regiments and different ways of formula to, okay, I'm in level one, level two, level three, or I am doing this program for 30 minutes or an hour, and this is what I need. But the main thing is to start, again, with saying, what is it that my body is needing and how can I get more and better of it? Because average sucks, right? Who wants to be average? But again, we have, we have, we have uh, lives coming at us, and like Carr said, some people are just cruising in life or parking in life, and they don't know what to do. So the first thing that you say, buy these supplements. No, I'm just kidding. You don't say that. <laughs> you say, you ask someone how you, how you feel, how you doing, and what I said today, how are you guys doing? Good. I am what? <laughs> I'm healthy. That's right. I'm blessed. I'm right. blessed to be, to, you know, I don't want to be stressed and blessed. You can be stressed and blessed at the same time. So we, we under a lot of stress. And the more stressed you are, it will show in your belly fat because your cortisol, that stress hormone is going to rise up and then blood sugar. And then you start seeing the belly right here. And I'm doing all these programs. I'm doing three workouts a day. And I'm taking all this stuff and I'm not seeing results and how come she is and I don't like her now because she's looking good. <laughs> and um, exactly. So <laughs> it's very simple. Don't make it complicated. When you start making complicated things, that's when things go south. And that's why we have everything as far as ingredients. The best ingredients, but then when you start comparing it to something else, you're like, oh, this thing has way more of that and more than this. More is not better. And like I said, if you see artificial sweeteners or artificial colors, those are the main things that your body will completely will destroy and very fast. So take out what you know and put in what you know, the same thing, what's best for your body. And uh, when you start loving yourself, you're talking with yourself positive, that's when changes happen. And then you don't really have to tell anyone else, hey, you want to get 22, 21, 30? How many, how many minutes to work out? Everyone, just keep talking. This <laughs> I was still meant to stop, no matter what. <laughs> don't stop talking. <laughs> What was the slap? What? The slap, right? That's the uh, sweat like a pig. Sweat like a pig. Slap like a pig. <laughs> Sucky. What? Don't, don't do this. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. So basically, Tony makes. Tony makes. Getting back to the question too. It was a question. I was telling a story. It's a good story. It's good and valuable information, but you've been at this for with celebrity trainers and or celebrities, and uh, which big egos. Not easy to get them to be empowered to follow directions. They're used to saying, "No, I don't want to do it," and then not getting the results. How do you get people who aren't used to being told what to do or being directed in a uh, toward a goal, how do you get them? You call me. <laughs> you too. Um, uh, hi, everybody. Hi. You know, this, this is the most pivotal question of all because I'm sure everybody in this room has had struggles with you know, sustaining and maintaining the health and wellness. Uh, raise your hand if that's true. 
Yeah, yeah. So, you know, the idea here is try to solve it. And that's the reason why I wrote a book about it, because I wrote that book for me. You know, those 11 laws in that book were things that I was struggling with. My first client ever was Tom Petty. And I show up to a guy who just, you know, finished smoking a pack of cigarettes and doing a line of blow. And I go, let's do some, let's do some exercise, you know. And so <laughs> there was a juxtaposition there between those behaviors. Uh, and the funny thing is, I started training him again for the first time in 15 years over a couple days ago. So it was good to see Tom. Maybe he should have been settled for that tour coming up. But uh, was the blow good? Yeah, no, he's vaping now, so <laughs> heroin vaping, but whatever. <laughs> it's GMO free and organic, so it's fun. <laughs> I hope this goes on the internet for Tom to see. <laughs> Tom, it's a joke. I love you, man. You're fired. <laughs> um, but, you know, what it really comes down to is, you know, there's, there's a lot of different categories out there. Everybody's here at a different level, but it really comes down to three different groups. Group number one would be those of you who, before you found beach body or fitness, were clueless. You just didn't exercise because you didn't want to, because you hated it, because uh, it's physically uncomfortable, and you just ate whatever your parents fed you, and you passed that on to your kids, and there's that, you know, there's that horrible, you know, cause of the health care crisis. But then you get information, right? So it's really about information. Of course, you got some inspiration. And, but I think ultimately education is, is most important. So a lot of times we're exercising and eating for all the wrong reasons. We're doing it for other people. We're doing it for our egos. We're doing it for waistlines and numbers on the scale and all the things that make us frustrated. But we all know that when we exercise today, we feel better today. When we don't, we don't. So, you know, the idea is consistency. So how do you get 22 days in more a month? And, uh, and how do you find a way? And, of course, Beachbody, there's no better company on this planet that gives you a different option. I mean, you've got Body Beast, you've got 21 Day Fix. You go to Booty Ballet, you got, you know, whole Al Cacano. Who owns whole Al Cacano? Raise your hand. Go on the internet today just to buy that thing, just, just to see. I want to watch those numbers go up. So that was a workout that Carl and I made up. This is God's honest truth. He goes, what do you want to do today? We got to shoot a workout. I go, I don't even know. So we're walking to the shoot. He goes, why don't we do like a yoga strength leg thing? I went, all right, I'll make it up as I go. Because it was a routine that I had done on my own, you know, in my house. But we just shot that thing and uh, we sold 16 of them. Like that. <laughs> Paid from a dog food, but you know. So really, ultimately, once you know what you're supposed to do, uh, you're in category, what I call category two. People who know better but don't just necessarily decide to do it. Uh, because it's still hard, even though you know you're supposed to eat right, you know you're supposed to exercise on a regular basis, you know it makes you feel good everywhere. You also know that your purpose should be just about being a better, a better mom, a better dad, a more productive human being, somebody who's no longer on that list uh, of people who are affecting the healthcare crisis in a negative way. But the last most important category of people are, you know, the people who just get it. They just, they make that switch, they've lost 100 pounds, they would never, you know, maybe they cut, cut out drinking and smoking, and they just, they're just, a happier, more productive human being, and that's ultimately what I think I really would like. But really, it really comes down to accountability, and that's the reason why the coaching business has done so remarkably well, is because you have each other. Like, if you look at 22 Minute Hardcore, it's accountability. In the old workouts, it was, okay, Sean's gonna do 12, and Alice, Pain in the Alice is gonna do, you know, 50, because she can, and we hate her, because she's gorgeous too, what? Right? But, and now I'm gonna do, you know, a few myself, but now we're, we're doing it collectively, we're doing it as a team. There's even the cadence part of it. Carl and I had a lot of conversations about the cadence. That you as 22-minute uh, participants are involved in the process of doing the 25, and then doing the 22, and then doing the 20, depending on whatever level it is or whatever series it is, to the, to the simple five or seven exercises that appear in every workout. So, you know, and, you, and there's accountability that way, but there's also accountability with each other. I mean, that's the reason why these challenge groups have done so remarkable. Well, when I work out with other people, I, I push a little bit harder, and I go, I dig a little bit deeper, and um, I'm, I'm a little bit more consistent, and I enjoy that process of working with other people, as opposed to the traditional model, which was go to the gym, do my own thing, and you know, wave to your friends, or, or you know, hang out spotting somebody for too long, and you know, all that kind of nonsense. So, you know, and the other amazing thing is, is that Beachbody, as a company, has brought in-home fitness to dudes. You know, I mean, it was basically a, a, a female oriented thing. I'm not going to work out at home, but how many guys had, you know, you started doing it first, and all your friends are at the gym, and they're doing, you know, leg squats for an hour and a half, and you're doing full body workouts and getting ripped, and then whatever, five or six months later, what's that 
PX90 thing you're doing? <laughs> Man, on the table, I'm awake some dumbbells with this. But, um, yeah, so it is. It's accountability. It's it's education. It's inspiration. But it's it's really purpose. I think really is really the ultimate thing. Just understanding that you just have a much more interesting, powerful, fulfilling life. Now you're you're talking uh, uh, support there, and I know that we're going to do the 22 minute hardcore group. Uh, starting April 4th. So in addition to your challenge groups, we hope you do uh, those who are who want to get involved with 22 Minute Hardcore starting April 4th through May 29th. And you'll be going in there, cheering people on, supporting them. And so that's going to be a cool group. Uh, and uh, on my note, you know, you're kind of the queen of these groups. I mean, you've run, uh, you did the December Fix, you just finished Master's Challenge with Sagi, and I sort of was lame. And, uh, but, but, you know, what do you see as you run these groups that, that is sort of the difference? Because not everybody succeeds in them. In fact, we were talking about uh, some of the frustration that you were having with seeing some of the people not really engaging in the food of Masters Hammer and Chisel. And uh, as a person who runs these groups, how do you go in there so that you can drive as many people toward the success that they originally intended when they, when they go into these things? Uh, well, it's, it's honestly, it's another full-time job when I do it. When I take on a challenge group, whether there's 10 people in it or 50,000, which was the December fix, I am in there as often as I possibly can be in there trying to answer questions because it isn't a one-size-fits-all. And every person is different and they're all gonna have different questions and I can't, like, yeah, I can throw up a video and be like, this is what I ate today, or this is what my performance line stack is, but that doesn't tell you why it works for me, and that doesn't necessarily mean that it will work for you, because you would be in a completely different situation than I am. So part of it is really getting in there and talking to people and finding out what is their why, what, what is their goal, but what also is going on in their life. Um, where are they at in their goals and that's in their program because not everybody even when they come into that group it's not like hey everybody comes in and hasn't worked out in 10 years it's some people are coming off of insanity some people are coming off of body beast some people are now going to be coming off of 22 hardcore everybody's at a different level I've got people coming off 21 day fix or extreme and they're like oh my god 21 day fix extreme is harder than master's hammer and chisel and I was like different so the other part is educating them about okay now that I know what's going on with you, now let me talk to you one-on-one -on -one about what can help you get to your next goal. What, what will, if it's the food, let's dial it in. Like I said, I had, we had, I don't know how many people we had in the Master's Challenge, but for the amount of people that were in it, I personally was disappointed with the results I saw in it. And I was like, why? The, the nutrition is the exact same as 21 Day Fix and 21 Day Fix Extreme. And the workouts, are hard. It's not 21 day fix extreme hard where you get no breath because you just get no breaks at 21 day fix extreme. But these workouts are hard. I was like, what did I, what did I miss? I was like, well, we missed something. And it wasn't that we missed something. It was that the people in the group missed something. They assumed that because it was me and it was Sagi and these workouts were hard, but they didn't have to follow the nutrition to a team. And I can't tell you how many people at the end posted their results and went, I'm going to do another round because I didn't really follow that nutrition. What? Like, what? Are you kidding me? Like, hello, I have these containers and they work and we've seen them. So I don't know why people went into the group thinking they didn't have to. Or they keep their crayons in the red. Right. But same thing, I'd have people going, oh, I did that first workout. And by the way, on stability, chisel, uh, chisel stability is so hard I could walk for two days. And never re recover anybody? We have something to help you with that. And again, it's not to shove it down your throat, but it's, if you're going into something called the master's challenge where Carl describes it as chiseling your masterpiece, your body, you might need something other than just your broccoli and your chicken to help you get to the next level. Um, we get, I get people commenting all the time, well, that person looked really good going in. Why are you, like, what do you think they had? And I'm like, I don't, I'm not saying they had anything to change. But if somebody's coming in and they want to take their body to the next level, you have to do something that's next level. So if you're already eating out of the container system, what's next? Are you drinking your Shakeology? Are you drinking it every day? Are you using supplements? Which ones are you using? Are you using the GNC crap full of toxins and, and food dyes and artificial flavoring? Or are you using something that has been researched? And yes, it might be a little bit more expensive, but there's a reason for it. 
that it's going to help you. Uh, again, when I recommend the performance line to people, I don't just go in and be like, oh, you're doing the master's hammer and chisel. You need X, Y, and Z. Because X, Y, and Z might work for me, but it might not work for you. Like a guy trying to put on muscle needs creatine. I'm not going anywhere near that stuff. I'm a girl. I'm not trying to be like that. Um, so if knowing the product, it's knowing what can help somebody next. You guys are coaches. It's, it's, knowing, it's knowing what the program is. It's knowing what their goals are. And it's really talking and listening. And I'm going to take two more seconds to tell one more short story. If you don't listen, you're, here's why. I just went through six months of help. I couldn't figure out what was wrong with me. I saw every specialist there was in, in California. I was losing weight. I was having a multitude of issues, including anxiety, depression, insomnia, mood swings like nobody's business. Could not figure out what was wrong with me. If you look at me, and this is what every specialist I saw said, nothing's wrong with you. You're the epitome of health. It's in your head. I was like, no, it's not. No, it's not. I know what my body feels like. This is not in my head. Something is wrong. I had to go do my own research. And I finally, after seven months of asking questions, went to a holistic doctor and I said, I think I have candida. Can we check me out? Oh, guess what? One blood test later, and candida. It's an overgrowth of bad bacteria in your stomach and too many antibiotics. I'm prone to bronchitis when I get stressed out. Great. I can fix it by changing my nutrition a little bit. So sometimes you have to really listen to what somebody is telling you because there's an answer. There's an answer if you hear them instead of just going, oh, well, you're doing the workouts and you're using the container, so you should be fine to stick with plan. Something's missing. You have to listen. All right, cool. <laughs> so, so we need to find the at 1230 would be the answer for you, just a rapid round, and then let everybody go get their giant straws. Um, what's the giant straw? I just this. What it's a thing. Like, no, Joel. I'm reaching out to you. Marissa, that's for all Joel said. Um, so, uh, I am a 365er and proud of it. Today's day is It's not easy, but I got a whole thing, a whole setup. Like uh, uh, Kelly, who does such a great job with our events, like I was on my way over here and, and she's like, you know, what do you need? Do you need Cabernet? Do you need uh, beer? Uh, and I was like, oh, Red Bull and vodka should be fine. And it's like, literally, she took me literally, so there's Red Bull and vodka. <laughs> I cleared all that stuff out, and I have all my boosts, and I got my shake, and I got my coconut oil, and my almond butter. I got, like, my whole setup on my Shakeology bar. So that's the one thing that I do every single day. So I'm not saying that it, that doesn't need to be for everybody. So, but that's the one thing that I do. And I know I'm taking care of myself every single day. So the speed round here is one thing that you do, it doesn't have to be supplements, doesn't have to be fitness, it could be whatever, that you do as a touchstone every day to help you feel like you're doing something healthy or good for yourself to be the best version of you. A little personal insight, okay? But kind of keep it brief, you know who I'm talking to. All right. So, uh, all right. So we'll start with you and go down. Um, yeah. I, I eat clean every day. I, I try not, not to touch processed food. That was fast. I can't do it that fast. Can I do it in a minute? Um, uh, I cut out alcohol a long time ago. Just calories. And I act like an idiot when I do. And I wake up with a headache. I don't get it. But that's just me. I'm not telling everybody else to do that. So if you like the long straws, go crazy. Uh, but for me, on the, on the stuff, I, I'm, uh, I was one of the original performance formula guinea pigs. And I am hooked, man, all the way. That nighttime formula, write this down. Frozen blueberries, this is, you want that one. Frozen blueberries, raw cashews, uh, four ice cubes, non-sweet almond milk, and that nighttime recharge. Boom, right in there. It tastes like black raspberry ice cream. It's money, man. That's, I mean, I just wait for night. <laughs> Sean, what time is it? It's 2 p.m. Damn it. <laughs> Come on, so, night. You, you physically, you did experience, like, experience something like, physically when you committed to the performance. Absolutely, man. Like, to pre -ener the energize at the beginning of a workout. Like, today I'm doing plyo at 1.30 in the gym. Um, I've got a few people joining me, but... Uh, Without that, baby, ain't gonna happen. At the office, they call it the enabler, uh, the enabler, which is it just it just helps you change gears when you're 
because you know the time changed, and I had to get up and do a workout early this morning. Uh, and, and the boosts, you know, first like, oh, we're having more stuff. <laughs> Forget it, man. That digestive formula on the boat, like butter every day. <laughs> Just don't be money. And the greens boost. I love the greens boost, man. I'll double up, like you know, boom, boom. Because I can't get enough green. I put more oxygen in there. I put, you know, I'll put kale powder in there. I'll put kale in there. And then the greens boost. So it's crazy when you're like, what color is that? Yeah. <laughs> it always it comes out same color. All right, thanks, Tony. Highlights from the cruise. Sagin, so what's one thing you do every day to take better care of yourself? Or to feel that you take got the boob talk, the, the boob talk started, so I have to. <laughs> oh, you had my attention now. Cool. <laughs> Very quick. Actually, one thing it's one thing that it's every day is my rituals. I wake up, I say thank you, I say my prayers. And then I set up myself for success when it comes with the products. I have my morning, my pre-workout, doing workout, post-workout, and nighttime. Very simple, my foods. How you keep a healthy lifestyle? Happy, happy, healthy lifestyle? That's all I know. 27 years of lifting and bodybuilding or just in the fitness industry, that's all I know. I don't drink or I don't, I don't smoke. Not because someone else told me not to. It's just not something that in my life. So it's stay positive and always make sure that I'm helping someone else. So I am a new mom. <laughs> and I'm gonna keep it real guys, I am exhausted all the time. And I'm lucky this guy at Tanner Stoll, I'm lucky if I get four or five hours of sleep. Like lucky. So um and you can't have a lot of caffeine when you're breastfeeding. Yeah. So yeah. I just really try to stay hydrated and eat clean. That's for me what I do, especially for my baby. He comes first. So um, that really makes me feel good that I'm doing something great for him and putting him first. But yeah, I'm totally exhausted. I love being the uncle because I can stay here and I go sleep. So it's actually, it's, it's great. Yeah, for me, it has honestly, uh, the past few months at the performance line, it, it, uh, I've become the biggest proponent of it, just because uh, from my world of the fitness industry, I was the GNC guy. Going there at Gold's Gym, we always, you know, it's all about supplementation, so we sell whatever was on the shelf, and so I tried everything that has been out there, supplements, pills, powder, we tried it, and to see what it's done for me in just two months, and as hard as we've been going for the past several months, and to wake up the next morning feeling better than you did the day before when that night when you could barely fall into bed because you're so tired and sore. Uh, it is phenomenal. And the recover is, is like Tony, that's become my favorite. I'll give you guys my recipe if you want it. It's, yeah. uh, it's for, it's, it tastes like a chocolate Reese's peanut butter cup. Oh yeah. Yes, yes, it's chocolate. Uh, there you go, almond milk, right? Uh, PB2, the, the chocolate PB2, two ice cubes, recover, done. There you go. All right, there we go. Yeah. So, um, you know, just one last thing, just on behalf of everybody here, um, I, I do want to say it is not easy to be a super trainer because um, you're sort of like, you know, we were talking yesterday, you know, it's, it's like, I don't mean to bother you while you're eating, but can I get a photo? No, I'm eating, and you're bothering me. Uh, I did not say You that. didn't say that. No, I said that. No, I said that. It's, this is the life of a super trainer, so you're sort of, you know, you guys are the focus. Everybody wants to see you and be a part of what you're doing and get a photo with you, and I think you guys handle it with class and elegance and grace, and we're all grateful for it. We're really, we're really lucky. We're really lucky. There are, you know, there are trainers who, uh, because of Southern California and Hollywood and all that, there are trainers around who could be considered famous trainers who are such at 
absolute jerks. And then we get to work with you guys, and it's like, how do we get this lucky? So, super <laughs> Well, I know some of some of the folks have a photo op today. I think we're, some of us are doing a photo thing. So thank you all for coming today. Looking forward to it. Have a good time.